Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play the Black Ball Deception. When we left off last time, we were able to uh, get into Jamie's computer and we've learned that she had a, it sounds like a boyfriend or at least just a guy she was dating that was concerned about her, Seb, and he has sent her an email since her death. There's a sign that says the VIP area is closed. Talking about how I he's been hanging around at Monday's. get caught instantly. So, it's either this one or the drunk guy. Let's try the drunk guy first. Well, I have the feeling this guy's gonna be sad. He, he looks to me more maybe her age. Although, you know, there could be a guy. Guys shave their heads, so who knows? This could be him too. Let's try. Hi. Are you sad? The funny look in his eyes says no. <laughs> Alright. This is gonna be him. Are you Seb? Hmm? I said, are you Seb? Yeah, I heard. Do I know you? No, but we have a mutual friend. Really? Tread lightly here, Who? Rosa. Jamie? Jamie Graham? Sorry, don't know her. Oh, come on. Do you want to go somewhere more quiet? It's kind of loud in here. I don't want to talk anyway, so I'll stay right here. Whatever, Seb. We're going to get you to talk. It's kind of creepy to bust out, I know you sent her an email after she died, because he's going to be like, why, stalker? But I think that's what it's going to come down to. We'll try the other options first. You here alone? Yeah, and I like it that way. Why do you come here? It doesn't seem like your kind of place. Uh, how would we know, Rosa? Want to talk. I'm here on business. Kind of. <laughs> so why are you here? I don't know. Does it matter? I just am. All right. I read the email you wrote to Jamie. That was private. Sorry. I, I know. It couldn't be helped. <sighs> so, what do you want? To go somewhere quieter. I'll save you the trouble. She was a drug addict, a dropout, and a tease. Then she spun out of control. Wow. And not in a good way. Yikes. This guy. Everyone is really crappy about Jamie. She was a drug addict. Yeah, big time. She kept trying to get me on the stuff. Called me boring. Boring. Right. At least I'm not dead. I mean, I guess if he really did care about her, then that would explain possibly some of his bitterness. But I don't know. The tease thing really bothered. Like, tease? What do you mean, tease? Okay, so this sounds like maybe there legitimately was a drug issue. And that's a problem, but I think instead of everyone looking at her like, Oh, she's failed. We could try a little compassion. She just started college, things started out bright and happy. Her teacher said she was doing brilliant at the beginning, and then suddenly things completely turned around. I think, I don't know, it just seems like a very abrupt change to me. And maybe could, people could try, like, trying to get to the source of that, find a reasoning for it or something. Instead of, like, everyone we're talking to is so blamey. She dropped out of school. Not yet. Well, she stopped going to class. She was going to drop out or get kicked out, one or the other. Or, well, I ask him, what do you mean tease? Why was Jamie a tease? No reason, forget it. No, there's some kind of crap there. Not, how come I can still ask her a drug, a drug addict? addict? Yeah, big boring. All right. Okay, he's not kind of about Rachel. Do you know anyone named Rachel? No. Do you know a guy named Jeremy Sams? No. We'll just go right down the Do line. Do you ever go to the High Line? No. No, he's so combative. Did Jamie ever mention the name Gavin? No. Does the name Tiffany Walters mean anything? No. Do the letters STP mean anything to you? No. No. Were you dating Jamie Long? Doesn't matter. I guess not. Did you know Jamie's professor, Elaine Appleton? We talked about her sometimes, but I don't know. All right. So you come here a lot? No. Yes. I don't know. Whatever. This guy's not helpful. I read Jamie's autopsy report. What's it say? Is she still dead? It confirms what Ow. everyone says. She died of a cerebral hemorrhage. No surprise. All the drugs she took had to mess up her brain somehow. Well, that's all we got from this guy, though. I've read James Ogden's It can be uh, Well, hmm. Well, I have to go. Later. I guess maybe now that we know he's here, maybe Joey could ask her about it. Hey, kid. Care to finish what we started? Hey, you. Hmm. So, tell me about yourself. You got a question? Ask it. Alright. 
So what are you studying? Nothing important. How about you? What did you study back in the dark ages? <laughs> Lay it on thick. Beautiful things. Uh, no. Let's see. What do we think? Hmm. We could say English, because we know she was doing writing. English. For a guy who studied English, you sure talk funny. All right. So. You got a question? So, what do you do when you're not lighting up the dance floor? Nothing much. How about you? Well, yeah, we'll tell her. She said spare time. <laughs> Uh, all right, life, I, I guess. I come to places like this. Really? You don't seem the type. <laughs> Maybe there's more to me than meets the eye. Somehow I doubt that. <laughs> so. You got a question? Where are you from? Uh, nowhere special. Where are you from? Where is he from? Right here, I think? Maybe. Well, it's got to be somewhere near, because he recognized Dan. I'm still not thinking that... Danny Marconi is someone he knew in life, so that would mean he's from here. New York, born and raised. Somehow I could tell. You okay. Come here. Maybe you have. Hey. I wouldn't forget a Rat Pack reject like you. What's up with that? Oh, anyway? oops. Reject. I'll have you know this fabric is top of the line. Look at me, I'm impressed. So, tell me about yourself. You got a question? Okay, that's what I meant. Um, no, and I still have the same options, so. This might just be for fun. Is there anything to actually so learn what are you here? Nothing important. All right. We'll choose the gross answer. Girls, mostly. <laughs> right. <sighs> oh! There, was it... Scroll down, Lavinia. Oh my gosh, I totally missed that. So, I hear you like to party. Why? You got something? No, do you? No, but I could if I wanted to. Anytime. Okay, we're gaining nothing here, but maybe we should talk to Seb about that. So. I've got a scram, but I may. Hi again. Hmm? So. So, Jamie was a drug addict. Not that it's any of your business, but yeah. Always bragging about getting high on E every night, but she was proud of it. She tried to get me on the stuff, said I needed to loosen up. Look where it got her. That's it, eh? So not always to try my court. Mm. She was a yeah boring. Well, this is not getting me where I'd hoped. Well, later. Hi. So, who's your dealers in the area? Would that help? Just look. Probably not. There's gotta be a way to get her Hi. downstairs. Hey. There are... Because we're not going to be able to get her to the move on up there, because Rosa can't get there. It's got to be something about getting her to talk to, to Seb. Hey, kid. Hey, you. Mm. Okay, maybe I need to I gotta I'm take a look at my phone and try to combine clues. But we're going to do it somewhere else, because this place is kind of loud. Back to the cafe, to Tiffany's. All right. We can still call her. Let's try that. Hello? Hi, Elaine. It's me again. Rose Angela, what can I help you with? Okay. I don't see how that's relevant. Hmm. Have you ever met Jamie's boyfriend, Seb? I'm afraid not. That wasn't useful. So what is Munray's like? I wouldn't know. Michael. Okay, there's nothing. Why were the for... police involved? I wondered this. The detective. Uh... All right, that's I enough get for, going. for the moment. Sure. Let's try combining clues. Hmm, now this is interesting. Ooh. Seb said that Jamie was a drug addict, but her blood work came back clean. There we go. Something's not right here. 
All right, back to the club to confront Seb. That's what we needed. No, not the stairs. I could try and climb. So, Seb. Hi again. Hmm. Seb, you told me that Jamie was on drugs a lot, but Jamie never used drugs. What do you mean? I spoke to a cop. He saw the autopsy report. She was completely clean. So what do you have to say about that? Oh. She was always talking about ecstasy, trying to get me on it. If she took anything, it wasn't stronger than cough medicine. I don't believe this. I've got the report right here. Sort of. Do you want the cop's number? No, I don't want his number. <laughs> Why would she lie about something like that? That's crazy. Well? You know her better than I do. Yeah, maybe I did. She wanted to be interesting. She always thought she was boring. But she wasn't. She was fantastic. She read Robert Ashbless, for God's sake. How many girls read Ashbless? Rosa probably has. I haven't. I don't know who that is. I'm gonna look it up. I've read Ashbless. She wanted to live, she said. Feel alive. She was kidding herself. Told everyone she was taking drugs, not having the guts to really do it. Stupid, stupid girl. I honestly thought that she and I... God, look at me. What the hell am I doing here? Is this me now? Fawn or ghost around like some lovesick puppy? You're sick, Jamie. You were sick. Wow. Really hard words, but I'm actually feeling a measure of sympathy for him now. I think he really did care about her. And he's really upset about what happened. And yeah, I think he just really is hurting. He's not handling it well, but he's grieving over losing someone that he cared about. So, Joey, you go confront her about this. This does make her a very interesting story. You know, she thought she was boring, hey she wanted to be Care interesting. To we hey All you. these people assuming, oh, she had so much promise, and then she just turned into this loser drug addict. Like, oh, screw all you guys. See, there was more to the story. And even if it had been that she would really turned to drugs, there's still going to be more to the story. There's going to be reasons why. So, oh, she's not the one to talk about this, huh? All right, well, maybe we can talk to judgy Miss Appleton and let her know that Jamie wasn't actually on drugs. So, you got it? Eh. Uh, okay. I've got a... I'm... Okay, I think we're ready to get out of here again. Oh no. Okay, so. Let's hang out here. Hello? Hi, Elaine. It's me again. Rose Angela, what can I help you with? A part of me is wondering if she was in like a creative writing course, she wanted to be a writer then maybe all the pretending she was doing was to try and sort of like experience a role that she wanted to write about or something? Are there, yeah, why, why did I think this would work? I don't have anything more to say about the drugs. So what is Munray? Hmm. Hmm. Eh, never mind. I should go. Sure. Can we talk to Sam about Hi. anything? Detective Durkin? Yeah. Well, bye. See ya. Alright, let's actually talk to Lisa. So, what was Jamie coming to see you for? Can't you tell me that? Yes. Hi, Lisa? Oh, it's you. Have you learned anything? Well, they're both dead. I learned something about Jamie Graham. And? She's dead. Lisa? Did Gavin kill her? Probably. Don't come back until you know for sure. Well... I learned something about Tiffany Walters. She's dead too. Lisa, do you know something about this? I don't know anything. Like I said, I just suspect... Well, give me don't something to go on. You know uh, they're both dead. That's something pretty significant. Lisa, both of these girls are dead. I know that. You think I don't know that? But until I know that Gavin was involved with both of them, I don't see why it's any of my business. 
Uh, because they both died after you'd been talking to them. And then Jeremy was killed after you'd been talking to him. And all these are all people that you sent on to Gavin. And then suddenly they... So you're part of it. Like it or not, Lisa, you're part of it. You sent him to Gavin. They died. I'll be back. Fine. <sighs> Actually, we're gonna try the nothing yet. I don't think it'll get me anywhere, but just in case. Yes. Hi. Oh. Nothing concrete yet. Then why are you here? Fine. I'll be back. Fine. All right. Hmm. Is there anything interesting going on inside? Or is she just looking at that same picture? Ah, eh, she's just looking at that picture still. All right. I feel like I'm close with Jamie. There's something I'm missing. We've managed to put some pieces together, but... Okay, let's also... Rachel and Tiffany were in the same photograph together, so obviously they know each other. But we need a little more about Rachel. No connection that I can... Maybe she worked there. Tiffany had a letter from someone named STP. STP. Ugh. Okay. And it's bothering me that Elaine Appleton is still someone that we can call. That makes me think that there's something we could be gained from her. That we could gain from her, but I'm, I'm not sure what it is. Alright, anything else on her laptop? Alright, Sarah Amala. Seb. My sister, Dad, Gavin. I don't think any of this is really useful. Hmm. I don't need Jamie. It's Jamie's class schedule. I guess, see, I guess I'm assuming because she took a writing class that she was interested in writing, but it could have been like an elective or something. Mm. Joey? Got a sec? What is it that- What do you think so, we should do? So, any ideas? Did that professor say anything about where Jamie might have gone? She might have. Then I don't know what you're waiting for. We need to follow any lead we've got. Okay. Munrays? Back to Munrays. That's all for now. Yeah. Alright, what am I missing here, Munrays? Seb's not here anymore. I'm not going out there again. Ahem! Hello? She's still not probably just as well. Okay. I don't think there's anything to be gained from this guy. No. Well, and then these ones just ignore me. There's gotta be something there's gotta be something that Joey can do to talk to her. There's a sign that I could try and climb over. Okay, yeah. Joey, you're up. Here for sure. Okay, that hey, kid. Is. Care to finish just what we started? Hey, you. Hmm. So. You got a couple. So what? Nothing important. History. Really? What kind of history? Well. Prehistoric. What? Like dinosaurs? <laughs> yeah, those things are great. Right. She's not buying it. So, you gotta go. Okay, so we'll ask all the studies. Science? And you wear that? What's wrong with this suit? Most science geeks I know don't have your dress sense. Hey, who are you calling a geek? Oh, sorry. So, you got a question? Hmm. So, what? Nothing. Business? Business. Yeah, the suit. 
the attitude. I can see that. Too bad. We might have gotten along. So. You got it. So what? Nothing important. Mm. Entertainment. You know, pictures. I was gonna be the next Cecil B. DeMille. <laughs> Who? <laughs> uh, get it. Kids today don't know they're born. So. You got a quest? So. Nothing important. Politics. Really? You can sort of see that. You've got the smooth talking part down, I'll give you that. Too bad. You might have gotten along. Hmm, she's not into so, politics. Tell me about yourself. You got a question? Ask. Or business. So what are you Nothing important. Okay, let's try it. history. It feels good because we got some options. Really? What kind of history? Um, I don't know. Write down the list. American. Really? Hmm. She's not into that. Okay. So. You got a. So what? Nothing in History. Really? European. That's pretty broad. Europe is quite diverse. Well, I did my best. I'm sure. So. You got a. So. Nothing in Okay, history. history. Really? Something about Middle Eastern history always fascinated me. You know, I used to. Oh, that's right. Way. We knew this. Everyone has their own She's opinion about her what book goes on there, but it's so ancient. But you can never truly understand anything unless you know where it came from. I feel so foolish now. I know what you mean. Things move so fast nowadays. I know, right? Nobody else gets it. And you do? I thought I did. Once. Maybe we can talk more about it sometime? I'd like that. Alright. So. You got a quest? Spare time. So. What do you do when- Nothing much. This usually isn't my scene. You'd find me at home with a book most nights. Uh -huh. Really? I used to read all the time. Not anymore? Nah. So what do you like to read? Well, we are so on the right track now. Robert Ashbless was always a favorite of mine. Really? I used to read him all the time. Which is your favorite? Uh-oh. Oh, I like all of them. Really? No favorites? None. Particularly. Mm, right. Ah, shoot. Okay. So, you got it. So, so that's closer. Really? Not anymore. Nah. Is there a book in her room that we'll need to find, maybe? Robert. Really? Um, the first one. You gotta sound more confident, really? Joy. What was it called? Yeah, you know, I, I forgot. Oh boy. Okay. Look at me. I'm surprised. All right. So we're gonna have to look that up. So you got it. Let's see if we can sort out hometown. Where are you from? <sighs> I'm what you'd call a citizen of the world. Fine, be all mysterious. Okay. So you got where are you? <sighs> the Midwest. Really? Whereabouts? Oh, she's excited about that. Well, I happen to be from Michigan. Michigan. Oh, never been. But there. she doesn't care about that. So you got it. Where are you? <sighs> the Midwest. Really? Where? Okay, I feel like I should know this. Which one is she interested in? Illinois. No way! So am I! Ah. Where in Illinois? Oh, Mattoon. Mattoon. No way! Because that was in... I grew up 20 minutes from there. Yeah, that letter. Really? Really? Mattoon. That's even a smaller town than mine. Yeah, well, that's why I left. I know the feeling. Although, I miss it in a way. We should talk about the old place sometime. I'd like that very much. Okay, so yeah, we're almost there. Excellent. I'm okay. So let's go figure out the name of the book. Okay, does she have any books like right in here or is it gonna be something on her laptop? Random knickknacks and boxes of Okay, so, and then I wouldn't think it would be in the mess. Pretty typical. I'm a medium, not a maid. Mm -mm. Okay, let's see what we got here. Although if it were in here, then I think it would be an option, wouldn't it? Or maybe we need to look it up. Robert Ashbless. Eh? 
Sir Robert Pelham Ashbless, 1882 to 1957. Ashbless was an English author whose body of work includes novels, short stories, plays, and song lyrics. He is best known today for the Anubis at the Gate novels. Hmm. Okay, pretty sure that's what we need. Oh, Jamie. Hey, kid. Care to finish what we started? Hey, you. So. You got it. So. Nothing much. How about you? So, Anubis at the Gate does sound kind of interesting. This usually I'm assuming this scene. is a real thing. Really? Not anymore? Nah. Because these games are, are pretty good about those kinds Robert, of things, really? putting in real world things. All the time, so Maybe just... I'll check into that. I'm curious now. Anubis at the Gate. Anubis at the Gate was always a favorite. Oh, yeah, if you want to go with the popular one. You don't like it? Oh, sure, it's great, but that's the first one people always pick. You wrote other stuff, you know. Like what? Oh, dark drawings and drawing a laugh. If you liked Anubis, you'd like this too. Really? I'd have to look them up sometime. Hmm, I've got a bunch in storage somewhere. Maybe I could let you borrow one sometime? I'd like that. How... how about right now? Yeah! Huh? Not sometime. Right now. God, I hate this place. Why do I come here every night? To have fun? I just feel more miserable. Let's get out of here. Sounds good to me, gorgeous. Where to? We can go anywhere. Well, my dorm isn't far. Your dorm? Yes. The John Jay Dormitory, room 402. Uh, well, I, uh... Oh my! Ah. He made quite the impression. We're going to be good for each other. This just got a lot more interesting. <laughs> I wonder if he's a little torn now, like, hmm, well, we have to send her on, then I can't have any kind of relationship with her. Maybe we can just keep this one around. Oh. <laughs> there. I want that to be my last memory of this place. Let's go. I'll be back in my dorm. Don't keep me waiting long, okay? What's Rosa gonna have to say about all this? Oh, she is not happy. <laughs> that look. <laughs> you do to that girl? <laughs> I haven't done it yet. Are you sure she's even legal? Legal? She's dead. This is disgusting. Oh, come on. If she's in college, then most likely... I guess she could be 17, but she might... She's most likely 18. Is it a club where they... No, if she's been... Has she been drinking and stuff in the club? They talked about drugs. I and mean, she was faking that anyhow. If she's in the club, would they card her to get in the door? So she's gotta be, she's gotta be at least 18, right? Isn't that how usually, I have not done much clubbing, but the one club that I did ever go to, they, they always carded you, you had to be at least 18. Hmm. All right, well, let's go help her in. Are you seriously going in there too? <laughs> I mean, can you even? Are these questions you really want answers to, it's Rosa? Never come up before. Oh, Joey. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> Look, believe it or not, I do have a small modicum of class. I'll do what I gotta do. No more, and no less. If you say so, Joey. But don't think I won't go in there. I won't want to, but I will. Oh, Rosa. <laughs> They're consenting adults. They can do whatever they choose to do. You came. I told you I would. It's so cold in here. I don't think I've ever been so cold. Look at me, I'm freezing. Come warm me up. I'm a little torn here, because a part of me thinks like maybe we're supposed to feel like he's hatching, acting lecherous if he makes a move on her. And some of the things he said are kind of... I got a lot of side eye for some of his comments. But here, like, she's interested in him? He seemed... I don't know. I don't know if he generally has an interest in her or not. Maybe. I mean, after how many years of being a ghost and seeing people and never being able to touch him, if you find another ghost that you can touch, I, I can see where maybe this is... You want to at least, I don't know, something. We'll say yes. I I don't think he's necessarily... I mean, we're kind of taking advantage because we snooped to find out the thing she likes and we lied about liking Ash Bless as well. But, I don't know, is it really so bad if they're both dead anyhow and ghosts to let them have at least a little bit of whatever kind of pleasure they can find? 
Of course, darling, if you're absolutely sure. Of course I'm sure. I've never been so sure of anything. I feel so good when I'm around you. I don't want that feeling to go away. I feel like myself again. Does that make any sense? It's like I remember who I'm supposed to be. Not what Gavin told me to be. Tell me more about that. Gavin? He's full of crap. I was just a bit lost, and he took advantage. Just what did he do? Look at you, so chivalrous. He, he told me I was dying, that I was wasting my life. Maybe he was right. Nose in a book or a computer, that was me. That's not a waste of a life if he you enjoy it. He said I stop studying and start living. Have a full life, have fun. But after meeting you, I remember. My life wasn't so bad, was it? No. Only you can judge that. I had my family, I had a few friends, I liked my classes, I even had a sort of boyfriend. That's a pretty good life. Things were good. Why didn't I see that? I didn't have to be so miserable. Stupid, huh? You're far from home. It messes with your head. People get confused. It happens. Sure, that's obvious now, isn't it? It's like I couldn't think straight. Even right up until the end, I... The end of what? No. Uh, she doesn't want to... Please, darling. The end of what? It's so cold in here. Oh. The moment of revelation. Um. We'll be compassionate. I am so sorry. Sorry. I'm dead and you're sorry. Oh, well, he's Is dead this too. Really happening? It's already happened. I died. In the club. I died. I remember it perfectly. It was like being ripped apart. I know. It happened to me once too. But it's over now? Yes, dear. It's over. So what now? Red, I know you're listening. That's your cue. Jamie. Yeah. It's just so much to take in. Yeah. I know. So what now? Just float into the light and I'm gone? I don't know what happens after, but yes. Just head toward the light. So this is it. I'm really dead. Gavin told me to live life to the fullest. Ironic, huh? We'll get Gavin, don't, I don't you know. worry. I'm sorry. If I had only taken a minute to think about what I was doing... But it's too late for that, isn't it? Yes. Gavin, he's going to do this to someone else. Nope, we're going to stop him. I know it. I feel it. He's already done it. Countless times. Do you know where we can find him? We'd meet on campus. I don't know where he lives. Funny. Didn't seem suspicious at the time. It's fading. Everything is just... fading. We'll get to him. We'll stop him. It's what we do. Promise? Mm-hmm. It's time to go, Jamie. I know. Tell Joey I said bye. Sure. And if he needs a cold shower or anything, um, <laughs> tell him I'm sorry. Ew. <laughs> Rosa. You got her off Ew. okay? <laughs> yeah, she's gone. Good. Something wrong? No. I just want to meet this Gavin guy so I can sock him in the jaw. Joey? Who has this kind of power anyway? He brainwashed that poor kid. Don't get me wrong, I've seen some pretty out there stuff, but this... Well, it just rubs me the wrong way. I think we should talk to Lisa again. Her? She keeps more clam than a seafood buffet. But sure, why not? Alright. I... I quite like Jamie. I think maybe that's part of why he's feeling so upset. Not just that she had an interest in him, but I don't know. I thought she was actually... She had a sense of humor. She had confidence when he was being creepy. She'd just... She'd send zingers right back at him. She was... I feel bad for her that she didn't, that she was so clouded at the end that she didn't understand, like, her life was great. Nose in a book, that's fine. If you enjoy reading books, then that's a great life. For small town, I'm from a small town. I like small towns. It's not something to be ashamed of. You don't have to be out there being wild, partying, whatever. If that's what you like to do, then do it. Just be you. Whatever makes you happy. There's no, there's no set formula to being happy. It's just whatever works for you. Yeah, she was she was a likable character. So yeah, I can see where they're quite where Joy would be really upset about all this, that she's just this lovely young girl. Lovely personality, not lovely necessarily that she's beautiful, because that doesn't that's not really what matters. It's just she she seemed like a lovely person. 
And it's a shame for her to have died so young. Alright, let's see what Lisa has to say about all this. Hopefully she'll give us some hints on um, Tiffany, because I'm not really sure where to go with her just yet. Locked. Oh yeah, buzzer. Yes? Hi. Lisa? Oh, it's you. Have you learned anything? Well, I've learned something about Gavin and Jamie. You have? Can I come in? I'll tell you all about it. Yes. Alright. And she spent all her time at that club, until she died there. Her body was found in a dumpster a few streets away. That part away. still really bugs Poor me. Poor girl. Jamie was such a quiet, shy thing when she came in here. She put herself under so much pressure. She spent her whole life doing what was expected of her, but she couldn't decide what was right for her. The girl was paralyzed. Coming to this city with all its possibility, it made her question the point of everything. And you gave her answers? She was so determined to fail, I couldn't help her. So you sent her to Gavin. Gavin and I have an arrangement. What arrangement? Which is? If I have a client who's determined to be unhappy no matter what, I send them to Gavin. And then they die? I don't know that. And neither do yes, you. Yes, we do. Just because this one died doesn't mean they oh, all Oh, come do. on. I gave you two names. Look into the other one. And don't come back until you do. I'll be back. This is some serious denial you're trying to keep up here, Lisa. I mean, come on. All right, I'm going to go ahead and wind the episode down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back and um, next time we will tackle Tiffany. Uh, we'll start out in her apartment. There must be some... I, I feel like Rachel is the lead we need to focus on now. Rachel or STP and or. We don't really have the, what we need to go on it yet. So I think there's probably something in her apartment that I'm missing. We'll go back and take a look at that.